Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, in this video, you're going to learn how to add integers. So the, for the first page, I want you to follow along with me and take notes. And then you have a chance to try some problems on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So you've been learning about how to add numbers for literally since you're probably in kindergarten or even preschool. So this should be pretty basic. But when you add numbers um, on a number line, like say, for example, we have the numbers 2 plus 5. All right. Well, let's say if we start at 2 and we're adding 5. Well, we're going to end up at 7, obviously, right? Okay, because 2 plus 5 is 7. So notice when you add a positive integer, you move that many spots to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and we end up right at our 7 as the answer. Okay? So when we add a positive integer, we always move to the right. So let's say move right. Now, when we add a negative integer, we do the opposite, okay? But before we do that, let's do one more uh, positive. So let's say if we're at negative three, and we're moving plus six, we're gonna add six, we're gonna move to the right six more spots. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we end up at positive three. All right, now we have negative one, and we're adding a negative, okay? so. We know that when we add a positive integer, we move to the right. Well, anytime we add a negative integer, we definitely move to the opposite direction or to the left. So we're going to move to the left. And for this one, we're at negative 1. And we're adding negative 4. So we're going to go 4 spots to the left. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we end up at negative 5. Okay, a good example of this one would be say, for example, you owe your mom and dad or someone else a dollar, right? And then now you owe them four more dollars. Well, altogether you owe them now five dollars. All right, so the big idea of this is when you add positive integers, you move to the right, and then when you add negative integers, you move to the left. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn uh, now problems. And when you're done, hit play, so you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these practice problems. So the first problem we have is negative six plus 10. So we're starting at negative six. And because we're adding a positive, we're gonna go to the right and we're gonna go to the right 10 spots. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we end up at four. So negative six plus 10 gives you four. The second one we have seven and we're adding negative five. So let me use a different color for this one. So we're at seven. And this time because we're adding a negative, we're gonna move that many spots to the left. So seven, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. So we end up at two. So seven plus negative five equals two. So again, just one more time. Anytime you add a positive, you move that many spots to the right. Anytime you add a negative, you move that many spots to the left. All right, how'd you do?